<laughs> yeah, kind you're of like that. You're mocking me. I am. I, I, I'm mocked. I'm mocking you a bit. How? What type of stick comparison? <laughs> At what it is, Jacob Patterson, one more again. So everyone who came from Mystery Guitar Man or Daystorm's channel, I want to welcome you and tell you that I got some exciting stuff planned. I think you're going to like this channel. I usually get a video out on Tuesday, and if there's extras from that video, there's another one Friday. But uh, yeah, you're expecting to see a behind the scenes for the mural I painted for Joe, and that's what I have for you. Here's some extra footage I got while I was painting the mural and a little bit of me talking about it, so enjoy it. What's the concept here? Like, what? what is your end result for this thing? Joe wanted me to put a mural up in his old place, but he was moving too much. So finally he got a studio, huh? That's funny. Finally he got a studio that he's staying at. They were like, all right, it's a good time to do the mural. So it was a good time, it was a good time for me too. However, they were like, you got three days to come up with the concept. Like he's kind of just like, at the drop of a hat, that's how he does everything. All his videos too. Which is why it's crazy that he can put out to a week. But um, I was like, well, what do you want? He said, I don't know. <laughs> any idea? No. Do you like want your face or your name or something? He's like, no, I don't want that on my wall behind me. So you just want colors and shapes? And he's like, yeah, that sounds good. And then I have to go try to find inspirations for that to show him before I put up a mural. And so I found a bunch of stuff and then I ended up coming to him with this artist named Kofi One, which is interesting because although I've never gotten to do geometric abstraction before, it's my favorite art form. And I went to school for art history, but I and my favorite artist was Piet Mondrian. He started a movement called the Day Still, or he helped start a movement called Day Still, which is my favorite art movement. And I've always wanted to work with that. It's all vertical and horizontal lines, sometimes diagonals, and then like triangles and circles, and that's it, nothing else. Most of the time it's just like primary colors too. And so I really wanted to do something like that, but then I wanted to find something a little bit more urban because that's just how I am. So I found an artist named Kofi One, who I was familiar with, but not like super familiar with, and I started researching him, and I really liked his shit. So I showed Joe, and Joe was just like, yeah, that's it. So I made a piece that was kind of like a combination of the two, and then had a little bit of myself in it. And so, for some reason, ever since I was little, whenever I draw squares, I always like to round the corners off like this. It still was about just horizontal, vertical lines, like very minimalistic. So the entire, this entire piece is just two angles and then a horizontal and vertical. So there's this angle, there's the perpendicular of that angle, and then there's circles. And then everything else is just like straight lines. And so whenever you see a curve, Kofi will put curves in where he wants them. But for me, wherever I saw a curve, it's a circle. So there's a circle underneath this, and then I erase the rest of the circle, and there's a straight line and a straight line that come off it. Working on this piece was a lot more dramatic than I expected it to be. Obviously it was meant to be a launching platform for my new YouTube channel, but I can't say I expected the response that I got. There were a few negative comments, but I expected tons of hate for what people would call ripping off of Day Steel. I also wasn't quite satisfied with the way it came out, though everyone else seems to like it. I'm good friends with Joe and I'm happy to have been able to work with him in his busy schedule, so I'm glad that our first piece was a success. It was an exciting few days of work. First of all, I came up on an amazing opportunity to meet graffiti legend Search One recently, and I'll tell you guys that story later. But he ended up staying in the studio sketching with me, and he is currently getting back into the street art scene and collabing with the Think Tank in the process. It was awesome to develop an idea in the studio with Caleb, Evangelina, and a Graf King, all while creating at the same table, and his pointers were pretty valuable to me. I started by sketching it out on paper with guesses as to how much space I had to work with, because I hadn't taken measurements, and I probably should. And the design lost a circle or two, and I had to freestyle on the wall a bit, but it came out very similarly to how I wanted it. Once I finished sketching, I grabbed a level from the studio, and Serge came with me to throw the line work on the walls. This was like in the middle of the night, and this is also where I lost the most time. I had no idea it would take so long to put up all of the lines on the wall, and I don't take in caffeine very often, but since I needed to finish this thing in like three days, I had to stay up till the wee hours of the morning and drink a bunch of double shot coffees. My body had an adverse reaction, and after having an extensive conversation with Evangelina about whether the blue or purple should be the color of focus, I decided that I needed some sleep, and ended up cuddled on the floor with her trying to sleep under one of Joe's green screens, unable to turn my body off. It was a really scary feeling. So I called my boss, and I was given a day off from DeviantArt, and I came back the next day to put the actual paint on the walls. From there on, it was just hard to be locked in a room with no sunlight for a long time, and I had to learn a lot about house paint. 
but it wasn't incredibly difficult. It was time consuming as hell and deciding color placement was a puzzle because no two colors could be touching, but the line work was the really rough part. I enjoyed it though and I think it will look great in the background of Joe's videos when he gets back from Bali and I'm really excited to see what those look like. So thanks for watching my video guys. I will see you probably on Friday because I got a little bit of extra footage I can show you. I'm now doing YouTube full time so you can expect a video every Tuesday. Make sure you check out one of the two videos at the end. One of them will show you how to make your own custom shoes. And the other one is an art project I have going where I take either random comments or artwork that you have and use it to create artwork of my own as long as I can draw inspiration from it. So check those out and I'll see you guys on Friday. Da 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 da